Hello friends, do you know which is the world's most loved snack? Of course, it's potato chips. And, when you hear potato chips, you might be probably thinking of Lay's, right? This brand, Lay's, has made its mark all over the world and has eventually grown as the number one in chips business. Okay. I know that you grew up eating this snack and you are well familiar with its taste and flavors, but I bet by watching this video till the end, you would be wondering you didn't know much about your favorite snack. But before we start rolling the facts, let me tell you that if you subscribe to our channel you would be getting more such interesting videos and we want you not to miss, so do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to smash the bell icon. Well, as one great man said, behind every successful person is a woman, in the same way behind every great product, there are many interesting facts. And I believe, the fact number 12 would definitely make you say wow. So without further ado, let's get down to 21 interesting things you probably didn't know about Lay's potato chips. Number 1. Lay's was the first snack food to go for television ads. Back when television was in its early years, Lay's potato chips were the first snack food to air commercials. According to the company Facebook page, in the year 1944, Lay's became one of the first ever snack food brands to advertise its products on TV. Bert Lahr, a famous personality, known for his role as Cowardly Lion in The Wizard of Oz, was the company's first celebrity spokesperson. Number 2. Have you ever felt that the quantity of chips in your Lay's packet is less? You might be right, as Lay's flavored chips have five fewer chips per bag than the plain chips, which saves the company about $50 million a year. That's a huge saving. Right? Number 3. To make a bag of Lay's chips, it requires four to five medium potatoes. The turnaround time that is required for the potatoes to get converted into bags of chips is approximately six to eight hours. And according to a National Geographic article, one Frito-Lay plant in Georgia alone cooks about 1 million pounds of potatoes and makes over 175,000 boxes of chips daily. Now can you make a calculation of how many pounds of potatoes are cooked worldwide in one single day? While you think over it, we move on to the next interesting fact. Number 4. Lay's is the world's fifth most popular brand. According to a study published by Brand Footprint that analyzed 18,000 daily household goods in 43 countries across five continents, Lay's came in at number five. And this also brings us to the fact number five. Ever thought of why Lay's potato chip bags are partially filled? One reason is it adds additional space and provides cushioning to prevent breakage of the chips. But the main reason is to prevent the chips from oxidizing and turning stale. For this, Lay's chips packets are filled with nitrogen gas. An interesting study states that the sound of crunching adds to the pleasure of eating chips. Snackers who eat chips with headphones on report becoming bored with chips more quickly. So, you too can try eating chips with headphones on and let us know how you feel in the comments section below. Number 6. Lay's regulates the amount of air filled in the packets based on the geographic variations. For sales in higher altitudes, the company adjusts packaging by reducing the amount of air in order to prevent the packets from exploding due to low atmospheric pressure. Number 7. Do you know who is the founder of Lay's? Well, it's Herman W. Lay. He initially was a delivery man for an Atlanta-based snack company called Barrett Food Products, which sold potato chips. Lay delivered chips to restaurants and grocery stores all over Kentucky and Tennessee. After seven years of working for Barrett Food Products, in the year 1932, Lay raised $40,000 in a stock sale and purchased the business. So, after purchasing the business how did he start selling the chips? And for this we move on to the next fact. Number 8. Lay first sold his potato chips out of the back of his Ford Model A car. He would drive around the southern portion of the United States, selling them to grocers. During that time there was a gas shortage, but with the help of Ed and Bernice Johnson, who owned the Belmont Boulevard Esso gas station right across the street from Lay's manufacturing facility, would often let Lay pay for gas on credit. Number 9. Herman W. Lay within two years of running his chips company, thought of selling the business. Not because business was bad. In fact, it was just the opposite. Business was going quite well, and Lay even began expanding into new markets. The only reason why he thought of selling the company was, he worried that the like for chips would go off. Thankfully, he decided to hang on to the business and ended up opening five more plants in the southeast. The company went public in 1956. By then it was worth $11 million. Number 10. This fact is about the story of two competitors who merged into one. 
Around the same time when Herman W. Lay started his chip company, another person named C. E. Doolin acquired a corn chip brand and named it Fritos. Both the companies Lay's and Fritos were tough competitors for about 30 years. In 1945, the two split the turf amicably so that Lay's would be sold only in the southwest states, while Fritos would be sold in the southeast states of USA. Over the years, they eventually became friends, and in 1961, they made it official and merged the two companies, thus becoming Frito-Lay. The partnership between the two companies was so successful that their combined annual sales grew over $127 million. Here's a lesson for all of us. Always competing against each other does not bring you success. Sometimes you need to shake hands and be friends in order to reach new heights. Four years later, in the year 1965, the company merged again with Pepsi-Cola to create PepsiCo. What makes this story more interesting is, ironically as Herman W. Lay started selling his chips from the back of a car, in the same way, Fritos founder C. E. Doolin also began his business by selling chips from the back of a car named Ford Model T. From this you get to know that, if you also want to become successful in business start selling from the back of a car. Hey I'm just kidding. Number 11. Do you know the first three varieties of Lay's that were introduced? Back in the early days of Chip's business, simply seasoned with salt was the only variant. And in 1958, barbecue flavor made its debut, and this gave consumers another option to enjoy. The next flavor, sour cream and onion, made into the market only during late 1970s. Number 12. Do you know till date how many flavors of Lay's potato chips are there? Well, according to the snack review website taquitos.net, there are over 216 varieties of Lay's potato chips. But when it comes to the brand Frito-Lay, there are over 593 varieties of snacks. Any guess on how many potato chip snacks are there in the world? Don't scratch your head. The answer is, there are over 1985 varieties. That's really a big number, and the disappointing thing is I have not even tasted 2% of the flavors. Keep counting how many flavors have you tasted. Number 13. Wherever you might be snacking chips in the world, the owner of that chips packet would probably be PepsiCo. Yes, you heard it right, and the reason is, most of your favorite snacks around the world like Cheetos, Doritos, Rolled Gold, Ruffles, Sabritas, Stacks, Sun Chips, Tostitos, Kirkier, and don't forget the popular Fritos and Lay's, all either belong to or have international aliases with the giant snacking company PepsiCo. In total, you can find Lay's under different names in nearly 80 countries. This makes them undoubtedly the masters in their business. Number 14. Now you might be wondering, how did Lay's created that many flavors? Well the mastermind behind these flavors is Chef Jody Denton. He is the Lay's head flavor researcher and has a huge experience working at a variety of restaurants over the years. Number 15. Apart from the contribution of Chef Jody Denton, Lay's would get new flavors through crowdsourcing. Every year the company holds a Do Us A Flavor contest, allowing consumers to submit their ideas for great new flavors. The winner of the contest gets $1 million or 1% of their flavor's sales. Finalists in 2013 were sriracha, chicken and waffles, and cheesy garlic bread, with cheesy garlic bread taking the bag. Other winners were kettle cooked wasabi ginger in 2014, southern biscuits and gravy in 2015, and crispy taco in 2017. In 2016, the Do Us A Flavor campaign was rebranded as Passport to Flavor and featured flavors inspired by dishes from around the world, including Chinese Szechuan chicken, Indian tikka masala and Brazilian pecana. Number 16. Lay's flavors also vary from country to country. Depending on where you are in the world, Lay's flavors will change to reflect your popular foods and tastes. In India, you can find flavor like magic masala, whereas in Thailand, chips come in flavors like basil chicken and crab curry. Number 17. In 1991, Frito-Lays laid special emphasis on research and improvements. They were aiming to create genetically perfect potato, which is as flavorful as a regular potato, but lower on its sugar content. Due to this the company faced several controversies for the use of genetically modified ingredients. In the year 2000, the company asked its suppliers to not use genetically modified potatoes due to rising consumer worries. Number 18. In 2003, the brand removed trans fats from its chips and saw the launch of a new line of snacks, called the Natural Line, as the snacks were made from organically produced ingredients. Frito-Lays redesigned its kettle and Lays flavored chips and labeled it as snacks, which uses all natural ingredients. 
This led to an increase in sales by 8%, and in 2011, the company announced that it will convert most of its snacks to use all natural ingredients. This includes Fritos, Tostitos, Sun Chips and Rolled Gold Pretzels. Number 19. In 1996, the Baked Lays was launched for the health-conscious adult population, and immediately after its launch, it added $250 million to the sales of the company. Number 20. When Frito-Lay introduced a compostable bag for their Sun Chips brand in 2010, consumers noticed the crinkly new bag was significantly louder than previous bags. The bag tested at 95 decibels, which is about as loud as a motorcycle. Obviously it was discontinued in 2011. Number 21. Do you know, 86% of people think Lay's has a good brand image and are satisfied with the flavors available. But people who do not eat chips are the ones who prefer baked chips, and surprisingly all of them are females. If you have enjoyed this video and got something to know more about your favorite chips brand, then like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Take care and we'll meet you in the next interesting video.